Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about Abraham Lincoln's life while I get ready for a performance. This is the bag of makeup, so let's get into it. Eye cream. To start off, Abraham Lincoln was born February 12th, 1809. And if you think about it, his anniversary for his birthday was like two weeks ago. So it's pretty cool. Father was actually not that great because his original mother died when he was young. And then his, their father like actually like abandoned his family in like a little shack. And he came back with a new wife that actually helped them like renovate the shack and make it like more livable. His father actually owned a farm. So a lot of the time Lincoln would miss school. Well, his father would make him skip school to help him on the farm. But even though he missed school a lot, he was still top of his classes and that made him very self-confident. He would he would have self-confidence because he had never met an intellectual equal. He had a great curiosity and like understanding and reasoning and he would always try to teach kids like what they didn't know. He was very fierce and he always yearned to understand things. As he would teach other kids, he quickly learned that the best way to teach like other people were through concrete examples so he did that a lot not only would he teach other kids he would also like story tell a lot of the time to other kids and he learned this storytelling from his father because his father although like dumb and abusive he had a lot of wit so he would always share stories make up stories and when he was talking to his friends and merchants that would pass by and lincoln would always overhear this and listen intently on how his father would be sharing these stories and he would try to copy when he was talking to his friends and lincoln this is the famous part of his life but he would he would read a lot and he would do anything in his power to get books so if that meant he would have to walk three miles 30 miles to his next door's house or farm he would do that yeah and he would actually read aloud a lot because he actually said this it helped because two senses catch the idea first i see what i read second i hear it and therefore I remember it better. And as mentioned before, his father used him like an indentured servant and basically like forced him to work on the farm a lot and basically made him give up school and education, but he really wanted to be educated. So that's why he continuously um, tried to read, but his father thought of him as lazy and like escaping his responsibilities by reading. Guys, that's it for today. I'll be back next week to talk about Abraham Lincoln further. Bye! And these are how my eyes are looking. I only have 20 minutes left to get ready and put on my clothes and do my hair. So wish me luck. Bye! See you in the next video.